Hello Blender fans, in this video we will model and texture a basic wooden plank using what we learnt in the last video, so let's start. Let's tell me that was good. So first off, select the cube and go into edit mode with tab. Press 3 to select faces and select the top face. Press G to grab and then you can press Z to lock it to the Z axis and drag it to about about there, so it's going to be a wood plank. So now st select this side face. And we're going to do the same thing, hit G, but this time because we want to pull it along the green line. The green line is the Y axis and the red is always the X axis. So we're going to hit Y and now we can pull it along. So I'd say that looks about right for a plank, perhaps a little bit more. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now for the texturing part of the tutorial. So to download our textures, we're going to use sharetextures.com. So go ahead and search that. They have uh, plenty of free textures that are 4K resolution seamless and they have the Creative Commons license, which means you can use them commercially with no restrictions. Right, so we'll just wait for the site to load up here. Okay, and you can see we have quite a few here. The one we're looking for is for wood planks, so I already know what one I'm going to use, so go to wood. Like that. Okay, so like I said, I know which one I'm looking for, but you can use whichever one you think looks good. So I'm gonna click on older posts. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one here. So select your texture. I'll double click. And the way textures work is you can see we have multiple things to download, so all of these, they're called maps, and they control different aspects of your texture, so the normal one and displacement, these cover bumps, specular does the lighting, diffuses color, and so on. So the ones we're going to use just for this basic tutorial is diffuse, display, no, sorry, not displacement, diffuse, normal, and specular. So go ahead and download that all into one folder. I already have them downloaded in my folder. Let me just find them, textures. Yeah, so I have mine here, so keep this up. So now go back into Blender. So to actually be able to see your um, textures you need good lighting, otherwise the textures won't look very good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and delete this lamp because it's not the one we're looking for. I hit tab so that you can select it. <coughs> so hit the X hotkey and then you can delete it. So now we're going to hit shift A so we can get the mesh presets, but this time instead of going mesh we're going to go down to light and we want a area light. So you can see it spawns the light in. This line is the direction of the light. So if you hit G and Z we can move it up to about there. G and we want to move it across the red line which is X axis. So hit X, move it. Now a new hotkey so we can hit R. This is for rotate and like moving we can lock it to the axis. So we're going to lock it to the green one, Y. So now you can see we can rotate it towards our plank. We'll hit G, Y. So we can move it over and you'll have to rotate it again. Oh, uh, there we go. So it's uh, looking alright. So now we're going to go select our uh, um, plank. So in Blender you can actually split your windows which is what 
we're going to be doing. Okay, sorry about that. So we're going to go up to here and if you click and you drag to the left, it might take a few attempts. You can see you can split the window here. So to Blender has, in the new update, we've got a new live renderer called Eevee. So you can enable it by clicking this one here. And we have nothing to render now, so you can't really see any difference. But you will soon. So go up to this left panel, and if you see, like, this button, you can select what you want the viewport to be looking at. So the one we're going to use is the shader editor. So you can see it brings up the texture for our object, which is what we want. So now if you go and open that file we had earlier, you'll see you have your files, and what you can do is just drag and drop them in. So you want to fuse at the top, um, specular in the middle, and then normal at the bottom. So the first thing we're going to do is, so these are all nodes, so what we're going to do is drag, you can just click and drag, and we're going to attach the color to the base color. So it's like you connect pretty much everything to this principled BSDF. So you can see this is our first change, so you can sort of tell it's a wood plank now, but we can still improve this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hit Shift A, so you can do that in here as well, except now you bring up a search for nodes. So you're going to hit search and type in invert. So hitting enter you can just click and that will come in place. So you can drag the specular map to color and then this outer roughness. So you'll find sometimes you'll get a roughness instead of specular map. They're the exact same thing but they're just inverted if that makes sense. So just have an um invert whichever one you have, plug it into roughness and then you can just move this slider along and look at your wood and see what you think looks best. So for mine I'm just going to use a about there. This lighting isn't the best, it's just very basic so we can see what we're doing. But really you would want to have so a bit better lighting. There's a lot of tutorials up on YouTube, I might link some in the description. Okay, so now to add the wood bumps, we're gonna go to the normal map and we're gonna hit Shift A and then search for normal map. So make sure it's normal map, not normal. So click, that'll come in. So now attach the color and then drag this to the normal. Make sure it's normal, not clear coat or tangent. So you can see now that we're actually sort of getting some detail, but it still doesn't look quite right. It looks a bit stretched. So the reason for this is everything in Blender, you have to do what's called unwrapping. So you can imagine it as if like Blender was cutting all of this, and in school you might have learned about a net. So basically it's unfolding everything and applying a texture to each face. So it's a bit stretch here, so what we have to do is go up to our left and change it to the UV editor. So now you can um, we can go back to our file, make sure you drag the diffuse in, so it'll open it up, you can use your scroll wheel to zoom out. So we still see no change, so what you have to do is hit tab so we can go into edit mode, and if you hit A it'll select our whole mesh. So you can see how it's sort of unwrapped here, but it's it's still a bit stretched. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit U, which will bring up the UVR mapping. So go and hit Smart UV Project and then OK. So you'll see now our wood is looking much better. So we can actually sort of see some bumps on there, but I still think it can um, be changed a little bit. So go. Ah, what you can do to, if you want this the wood grain to be a bit smaller or larger, you can hit Tab, and then you can drag here to select all the faces, and you can hit S to scale. And now you can 
scale the different sizes and it's a bit hard to see what's moving. But you can see how it changes the size of the wood. What it should do. Yeah, so you can see it's getting a lot finer there and sort of repeating. So I'm just going to scale it down so it fits. Doesn't matter too much. Alright, so that is the basic wood plank in Blender. So in the next tutorial, we'll combine our new texturing skills with the modeling skills we learnt in the previous video, and we'll make a item of furniture, most likely a desk, but we'll see.